Yeah. Kind of still gonna be doing a phone video today. Um, cause, well, not the smartest guy in the world. Um, kind of got stuck again. Um, wait a second. Excuse the hair and glasses, I was wearing contact lenses for three days and now my eyes feel like they're bleeding and I want to burst out my face. Um, and also the hair, not quite sure what's going on here, it's kind of turned into a bit of a beehive. That was my impression of a beehive hair. Yes, you are not imagining this, I'm actually back. I am finally back in Lincoln. It's taken me three days to get home. Um, so. That was fun. Um, I'll give you a quick recap of what happened, because I've explained this book story a couple of times. I think I'll be able to explain it again. Essentially, Sunday, went to get a train, then decided, you know what, I'll wait till Monday morning. Monday morning, the train was at 7.30, woke up to Becky poking me, saying, why are you still here? Which is exactly what her boyfriend was there. Why, why, are, you, why are you still here? I, it's, you're in my bed still. I was like, well, it's because my alarm hasn't gone off. And she's like, it has. It woke me up twice. And I, it woke me up twice as well, actually. And then I checked my watch, and sure enough, it was 7.45. So I'd missed that train. The next train that was available was at it was at 4 o'clock. And I went there, and apparently the train was delayed by 12 minutes to this stuff. So I was like, okay, 12 minutes, that's doable. Checked my timetable. I had three minutes to make my connection in Bista. This is not doable. But I'll go to Bista anyway. Went to Bista. Yes, the following train is delayed by 12 minutes. Right, okay. Um, that's bad. And so I had a risk of having to go up to Birmingham. Um, and then be trapped in Birmingham, which is, you know, bad. Got to Vista, and then the train was delayed by Birmingham, so I was like, you know what, don't fancy to going to Birmingham New Street, so went back home from Vista to Risborough. Then on Tuesday, I was like, I'm gonna get a train, and I made sure to get the early one, quarter past four, not the one that's at five to seven, because that was bad. Got to Birmingham, all the way up to Birmingham New Street, you know, everything's fine and dandy. Got on a train that was like, this, this train is going to Nottingham, so I was like, Nottingham is where I need to go. Two sections of the train, platform 9A, platform 9B, and the section of the train that's at platform 9B will be going to Nottingham, and the section that's at 9A will be going somewhere else is down. Um, so I got on the 9B part, sat down, you know, got my laptop out, pretended to do work when I was actually watching Modern Family. So I was there, sat there working away, and then, you know, it's about a 55 minute train journey to Nottingham, and about 50 minutes in, after about two or three episodes of uh, Modern Family, I look up, you know, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the train times, you know, I'm gonna, gonna have a look and see where the hell I am, because I don't really know any train station between Birmingham New Street and Nottingham. So I was like, you know what, I'll see where I am, see if I can get my bearings. I looked up, this train is for Worcester Shrub Hill. No, it's not. It's for Nottingham. So I'm on the right bit of the train. So I'm going to Nottingham. Calling at Worcester Shrub Hill. Sudden unnecessary camera change. Bam! Um, so I look up and obviously when we get there, you know, there's an announcement. Welcome to Worcester Shrub Hill where this station terminates. All change please, all change. So I got off the train and ended up at Worcester Shrub Hill. And I was like, right, I'm going to chat to the bloke, uh, excuse me mate, um, trying to get to Nottingham uh, from Birmingham New Street, where do, I, where do I go? And the guy's like, well, kind of gone the wrong way. And I was like, oh, shitballs. So he's like, yeah, what you want to do is you want to go over to the other station where there's a train leaving in 10 minutes. I was like, how far away is the train station? It's about a 20 minute walk. Right, okay, so run down the road, went past the girl that I knew was going in the same direction. Excuse me, do you know where the Farngate Road is? Yeah, yeah, it's over there. Like, she was going to Farngate Road, not the station. So she was like, yeah, you go there, 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 left there, over the roundabout, under there, tie your trousers, then round and not, then run round. And it's like all these random instructions which just went, whoop, 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 whoop. And then, lucky enough, I just ran there, managed to get to the station just as my train was designed to f off. And so, yeah, I kind of got there and I was like, right, next train is um, going to New Street in an hour and my last train is going in 50 minutes from New Street. Oops. Um, so I ring up various people I know. Um, yeah, kind of, kind of going to be sleeping in a train station this evening, just to give you a brief of what's going on in my life. And my girlfriend Becky was like, you're not, you're not doing that. And I was like, well, <laughs> haven't really got a choice here. Um, so she was like, right, I'm going to ring up Kat, Kat, her friend. 
and uh, Kat was going to come up to Birmingham to get me to take me back to Prince of Gisborough and then I have to buy another ticket to try and get back up to Lincoln when I actually really badly needed to be there for Wednesday, which is today. Um, and so I was kind of kind of stuffed there. Um, so eventually, um, what was going to happen is I got to Birmingham and rang up my cousin who lives in Birmingham, Ben. Hello, Ben. You watch my videos apparently, so sup. So yeah, I got a cab to his and then. Uh, Stayed here, stayed there in the evening, then couldn't get the early train that would have got me into Lincoln at half past ten because that would require Ben getting out of bed really, really early, and then for me to get a train at ten to eight when he doesn't have school for like two more hours, so there wouldn't be much point in that. I didn't want to put him through that because he let me stay, so it's his rules really. So yeah, I managed to get into Lincoln at half past eleven, run around like a blue ass fly doing some photography work, um, like ran back to the studio, uh, managed to get 40 minutes worth of photography in, which I was quite impressed with some of the stuff I did. Um, but yeah, thanks thanks a million for Sophie for letting me have your photography and sorry for waking you up this morning. I forgot you had work and you were very helpful even if we had a slight disagreement about certain things. Um, so I'm sorry about that. I was a bit of a dick. Apology, apology, apology. Accepted? Yes? Friends now? So yeah, thanks very much for Sophie for letting me use her photography time. And I went to edit all my pictures at the library, um, which like this. Then I was told that it was more studio time with my friend Frank, um, who was in there, um, but he left early, like 20 minutes into his slot, and then had the keys, but the media building shut at 5, so you couldn't get into it. So I was like, feck knuckle, and it was really annoying, so I'd run back to mine from Jane, from Weller's house, and got loads of stuff, and I was in like one of those crazy like zones where I just like sort of, every, all the synapses were firing, and I was really creative. I'm kind of in that mood now, I'm still kind of buzzing. And I got loads of props together to do all my photography, but now I can't, because there was no studio time, so I have to try and get some tomorrow morning during my workshop, which I've emailed my lecturer about. So yeah, a little bit pumped, a little bit buzzing, because I, as you see, I had the coffee, which was, you know, nice. Um, it took me two attempts to make that coffee. The first one I did was an Americano, I didn't realize Americano meant black, so that's bad. Um, Black isn't bad as a colour, I meant as a coffee. Awkward racism! So yeah, that's pretty much it for the day. Um, welcome back to me in full high definition. And yes, so, woo, I'm proper still pumped, so all I've got to do is push this out and edit it and stuff, because it's currently 25 to 11, so I have approximately 25 minutes to edit this and then set it to upload, and then I will be done. And breathe, feck me, I'm energetic right now. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. And scene!